This video is going to be how to take your ozone wing. Uh, I'm guess this is an ozone spider. I'm guessing a lot of them are this style where they have the tip steering on this magnet and then it runs through this this hoop. And then you have your brakes that run through this pulley. And while you're flying, you can grab both of these and pull them at the same time, which I find strange. So if you've ever seen a wing with tip steering attached into the brakes to where they don't have this second handle, you pull toward your chest for tips and you pull outside for brakes. And the problem with this little eyelet, it doesn't matter where you pull, they're, they're both basically pulling from the same spot. So what I'm gonna do in this video is eliminate this little hoop so that it goes straight from this handle out to the tip. So that when my hands are out here pulling brakes, this won't be getting pulled from on this direction and then when I want to pull tips only the brakes won't be getting pulled from if that makes sense maybe in my next flying video I'll, I'll go into further detail but this video is just going to be untying this knot pulling it through this hoop and then retying it so I'll still have this handle I'm not going to tie it into the brake yet I'll do that later So first, let's get the slack out. This seems to be just loose excess. And then we get to the actual knot that's holding it. There's YouTube videos on how to make these knots. I don't know exactly what it's called. I think the YouTube video I saw was um, brake toggle knot or something. But I'm just going to deconstruct it and try to replicate it. Okay, well, let's go for it. I've got the other one still attached so I can refer back to it. It almost looks like a bowline or bowline. I don't know how people say it. I've always said bowline. So now I've taken it out of the hoop. I'm just going to run it back through this. If I can, I didn't realize how small this hole was. Now before taking this off, I made note, see this little black line? This is where my knot will be, so I'll basically have it just like that. This direction, okay. And it goes in. This comes out of our toggle and goes up through, over, and then back through. I'll just pull it tight with loose, that way you can kind of see what it's supposed to look like. Focus. Ah, 
obviously I'll snug it up to where it's you know snug on that and get my black line closer to it but now that I know how to do it snug it up there there's my black line but I'll just keep playing with it and then you know wrap the excess around and tie it off like it was from the factory that's that now it'll still attach to this magnet I still have this bungee so it's I didn't really change anything except when I pull to the outside like if I pull away from my body that will be brakes when I pull toward my chest that will be only tips because while flying this will be out at the end of the you know pointing out toward the end of the wing instead of going up through this eyelet and then out toward the end of the wing. So this will be basically in this shape. So when I pull it this direction, it'll be pulling the tip steering. And then when I grab my toggle and pull outward, I won't actually be pulling the tip. I'll just be moving it to the side, if that makes sense. Like I said, I'll go into further detail on a flying video, but I just kind of wanted to film this in case anybody had any questions on how to do it. And then you get both of your black lines evenly from the toggle. Finish them off with some square knots, and that's it.